guys. You know that uh, Teo Mexico came out with a uh, Bigfoot warning. Now the news media is saying that it's a hoax and that it's not a Bigfoot uh, warning. And then you got other places saying that it probably is, could be. So something I'm sure happened because there is something that has happened in Mexico that I just found that um, I feel like is important that we talk about. Um, so... I said, I got to share it to my people. I'm going to turn this down, guys, so it doesn't get in the way. Uh, I'm not doing nothing but working on videos tonight anyway, right? But anyways, um, I want to go over this with you. and Let's see what you all think. A young boy is recovering in the hospital Monday after a wild animal grabbed onto him and carried him away from a hiking trail in the Sandia Mountains. The attack happened on the east side of the mountains around 7 p.m. Saturday as Jose Salazar Jr., 5, was walking with his family. The young boy's parents said the child was walking about 20 feet in front of them when they heard him yell for help. We looked at each other because that wasn't a normal scream. It wasn't a scream we'd heard before, said Jose Salazar, the boy's father. The father quickly ran after his son and saw what he called a big cat. Carrying the boy by his head, he jumped onto the animal to try to save his son's life. The way the cat had my son's head, his scalp pulled off, and that's when the cat stopped because it lost its grip. Essentially, that second, just when I was up in the air, I was thinking, whatever I fall onto, I just have to hold on, said Salazar. This thing threw him into the air, okay? A cat. Now, it's going to get better. The father's actions scared the animal off. He managed to grab his son and realized the child had suffered a severe tear to his scalp. The puncture wounds to his head, back, and neck. Body cam video details a horrific attack that has happened in Mexico in recent months. The attack seems to be a bipedal creature that attacks a man in an alleyway. After this video had been released, the Mexican authorities confiscated the video, went to the owner's house, made him go onto YouTube, delete the video, and then delete his account. Okay, now this child that was attacked, the child remains hospitalized Monday morning. The University of New Mexico Hospital said the parents are declining to have the child's condition released publicly. Officials said they don't know what kind of animal attacked the boy. They're not releasing nothing publicly, and they don't know what kind of animal attacked the boy now. They are looking at the tracks in the area to find out if it was a mountain lion or a bear now. Dogs trained to track mountain lions were back on the east side of the Sandia Mountains Monday, looking for signs. The animal had the kid and was dragging him down the side of the hill. When the father jumped over there, the animal ran off, said Ross Morgan, who works for the Department of Game and Fish. A Game and Fish Department new release Monday said that the dogs refused to track on that side of the mountain, and his father identified the animal as a mountain lion from the pictures investigators showed him. Now, there was a case in Oklahoma where a little girl was attacked by a creature. They spoke to her without her mom and dad present. I've done a video on it. And she said it was a coyote because they had showed her so many pictures and probably coerced into saying that before anybody else was there. But yet she had a shark-like bite over the whole top of her that had pulled lig uh, ligaments and stuff loose. And they, they said that the mom had even went to the neighborhood and was warning people that there was something worse than what they were saying it was in the neighborhood. And she was threatened with arrest. Moving on. He said they're not ruling out a small bear or a bobcat. A bear and a bobcat are really close in size, okay? It's hard to tell them apart. Morgan said the bite marks are larger, more consistent with those from a mountain lion, but also said a struggle can make bites appear to look larger than they are. A struggle can make bites appear larger than they are. I don't know about you, but if a cat bites me and I go to pull him off and he rips half my arm off, 
to me, that's still going to be a big bite. That's just me, though. In the meantime, the Department of Game and Fish is warning people to be careful if they're in the mountains. Game and Fish officials said anyone attacked by a bear or a lion should fight back. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, some people visiting the mountains on Sunday said they were aware of the dangers and prepared for what could come their way. We have to expect that what we're going to come across, animals, Victor Winter said, could be anything from a rabbit to a bear. When has a rabbit ever been dangerous? But others who spend time in the Sandia Mountains like David, and I hope I get this right, Soplowski said, news of the attack has them shaken up. It is shocked and it's kind of scary. We are making sure we're keeping track of where everyone is and we're looking around. Guys, I'm sorry. Golly. If you're going to make, if you're going to hide something, don't go from rabbits to bears. I mean, it's not even believable. This kind of stuff has happened in the past. Uh, they go in, they talk to these kids before anybody's present. They bring their little book of pictures and they persuade you. You know, children can be persuaded easily, especially by adults that are supposed to be, you know, there to help them, and even more so by an adult in a uniform, a professional uniform. Now, in some states, it is illegal to use your uniform to be able to coerce or to scare someone into doing something just because of the uniform that you're wearing, the position of power. I believe that's used a lot. Um, I think it's used a lot on these victims. It's just my opinion. But even <clears throat> fish and game, the doctors and everybody are saying, we don't know what kind of animal attacked this boy. Even one of the fish and game guys that they spoke to off camera, and one of his quotes was, I don't see how it could have been a, a bobcat or anything of that size. It would even be hard for a bear, he said, to bite the size of the skull of the kid and to be carrying him away. That's what Fish and Game said herself. And then they come back and say it could be anything from a rabbit to a bear. So if you're out in the mountains, guys, you need to be well prepared in Mexico because you may run across a rabbit. It's not unheard of. It could be dangerous. Um, but yeah, it's just I think they got to the I got I think they got to the family. The family's not releasing any information to anybody. Uh, they're not going to do any public releases. Uh, everything that's done is done. The child said, you know, this is what it is. The father said, this is what it is. They're going to kill the story. You won't, you're not going to hear any more out of this. I would keep an eye on New Mexico for a while and see if they have any more encounters because I'm pretty sure they're probably going to. And Teo County makes me wonder, was it really a hoax or did something go on there? I'd say something probably went on and they're going to play it off as a hoax, but later on can say, we told you. It's another one of them things, guys, where another kid's attack. Keep your eye on your kids, especially right now in the summer. Fall's coming up. People are going to be outside a lot more. Watch your kids. These things hunt the kids. It's obvious that that's what they do. And they're going to blame it on a rabbit or a squirrel or, I don't know, it could be a, you know, a hedgehog or, you know, some of them, you know, them, uh, weasels, they get pretty mean. And it could all it could go all the way up to a bear, you know, or depending on where you live, it could be a lion or a rhinosaurus or a hippopotamus. But just be careful while you're out there, guys. Until next time, keep your head on a swivel. We'll see you on the next one. We got some really big things coming up, some really big filmings coming up. And um, if I wouldn't have twisted my ankle up, we would have got more done than what we got done. But uh, we're gonna get it done. I appreciate y'all watching. Until next time, don't be something's dinner. We'll see you this Saturday night on the live at 7:45 p.m. And this Thursday at 6.45 p.m. will also be live. We'll see you then, guys.